Well, we we almost match. Almost match. You'll have to see me in a minute. They don't look like us. No. They don't but match. Piper got a new grooming. Oh, and she's, so got, she's got, got her little her scarf. scarf on. Sixty dollars worth. Exactly. <laughs> well, we've got to be quick because Denise is going. I got to get back to school. But see, we're almost matching. Yes. Mm -hmm. Fall Even colors. Hats, it's fall. That's why I like that hat too. Oh, thank you. Okay. Bye. Bye. Well, good morning. Today is Thursday, September 24th. And nobody told me it was their birthday or their anniversary, so... Hmm. Forgot my watch. I have to just guesstimate on my steps. I did walk my usual route, which is 2.35 miles, something like that. So, I know I did it, so that's all that matters. I, uh took out some chicken out of the freezer so I'm going to have a chicken stir fry maybe with some rice for my dinner I think I'm going to try that uh, rice that I got from Nutstop um, Nutstop.com uh, in the description box down below I'll leave a 10% discount um, I'll also leave a link to the video I did telling you about the product if you, in case you missed it um, it was uh, they're very good they're very inexpensive compared to if you go to like CVS or Kroger's or Myers to buy your nuts because uh, I got like a 16 ounce bag for $9.99 and usually when I go to Kroger's I get an 8 ounce can for $7.99 so for $2 more I got a whole half a pound more so it's really worth it but I'm going to have the rice and the chicken stir fry and then um, for lunch I think I'm going to have a grilled cheese sandwich with a side salad I'm going to make it with my Velveeta cheese oh that's right I got to take the bread out of the freezer and then um, for breakfast, I think I'm going to have a bowl of oatmeal with my hard-boiled egg and my cup of tea and a banana. And then for a snack, I think I'm going to have a quarter cup of my nuts. But I'm going to figure out all my points. I'm going to get my points in, so I, I think I'm going to be pretty good. Like I said, I'm trying to get one pound this week. If I can get one pound, I'll be happy. If I have any kind of a loss, I'll be happy, but I'll be happier with a one-pound loss. But. Um, Oh, they're finally done. I think they're packing up all their stuff. I think they're done with their putting in the floors. Um, anyway, um, but the only way I'm going to reach my goal and keep at my goal and sustain my goal is to develop good, healthy habits. And a good, healthy habit is to eat properly and exercise and move and just make small little changes every day because. Uh, you know, like when you're learning how to swim, you don't jump off the diving board into the deep end. Unless you were my dad. My dad, not that he dived off the diving board, but he said that his brothers threw him into the, uh, uh, I think it was the ocean, because he grew up in Boston. I don't think he him up, threw him in the ocean or if they threw him in the St. Charles River. I just know that he always says, they throw me in there, I was sink or swim. <laughs> so... But in, in life, when you go, I mean, I, you learn to blow bubbles in the water and then hold your breath and go under the water and, you know, like little tiny little steps. So that's what you need to do with your weight loss program. Or just even if not a weight loss program, just a, getting a healthier program. Just, just cut out one little thing. If you're used to having a donut every day, try to have a donut every other day, you know. Um, oh, how I miss my donuts. I do miss my donuts. I will be honest to tell you, I miss my donuts. But that will keep me from getting my goal but it's a habit that I had that every time I went into Kroger's I always went right to the bakery I always went to the single donut display picked out my plain donut that had sugar and cinnamon all over the top of it and I ate it and then I was getting to the point I would buy two I would eat one in the car on the way home and then I'd have another one for dessert later on but I can't do that anymore I, you know, well, for one thing, I can't do it because they don't have them single donuts anymore. And then when they do the, the uh, six donuts, it's like a variety. And, and my donut's never in there. So it's like somebody's looking out for me. They really are. But every day you just need to do something, develop a habit um, that's going to make you stay on track. And, you know, just practice it. You know, everything, you always get better once you practice at anything. You know, like I said, you don't learn how to swim right away. You don't learn just sit down at the piano and start playing the piano. You know, you don't pick up a guitar and start playing the guitar. you got to learn little th steps along the way. And then you learn, like, especially with the guitar, your finger placement. Oh, if I just move my finger just this much over, it makes a difference, you know. So you have to uh, figure out what's going to work for you and 
do it. It's, it's like, that's all you can do is do it. But I, um, I don't know. But right now, I have no really, Denise, Denise is so stressed from school because the, the computer thing's not working and it's like they're constantly calling the teachers and Josh doesn't want to do it. He wants to go back to school. And it's like, you know, it's like, I know. But, uh, so she's going to do some shopping today. So she asked me if I wanted to go. She just looks like she needs to be by herself. So I said, no, you know, I think you need a, just a day for Denise. A Denise day. A self-care day for taking care of Denise. And so she's going to do that. But she's going to stop by the post office to see if I got any more mail. Because I gave her a key. And uh, I'm going to do a happy mail. Because I did get some mail yesterday. I just didn't, uh, my day got, got away from me. And I never got to film. So I'm going to film that. And uh, right now I'm going to go feed my birds. And go in and drink my water. Get on with my day. Like I said, no plans. But I'll take you with me if I go anywhere. Cause you never know. You just never know. Well, I'm back. My birds are very happy. I fed them and they're all like, I could hear them in the trees all around me like, arr, 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 hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. But then while I was doing that, I was thinking of another thing. This is a habit that I have. So it's habits that you develop every single day are habits that you're going to live with the rest of your life. So you just got to remember that. And every little small, small change that you make really does make a difference. And you just have to think of things that I'm not doing it for today only. I'm doing this for the rest of my life. So make a habit that you know you're going to be able to stick to um, for the rest of your life. Uh, like I said, if you got to take little small baby steps to start your way, take those little tiny small baby steps because um, habits are not something you, you develop overnight. It's something that you work on for a lifetime. And it's a lifestyle that you acquire from doing these small little changes in your life every day. And uh, and even though it's it's like small little changes that after a while I don't think you really would notice that you've made the change because it becomes part of your everyday routine and you're just so used to doing it that it just seems like second nature and like I mean you know I remember a time I used to do that. and then you think back like I mean, I remember I used to do that why did I do that this is so much easier this is so much better for me this is just healthier and. Uh, and it doesn't have to necessarily involve around food, you know, like maybe you just need a time of the day just to sit and reflect or pray or just be some me time. You know, just, you know, that's a habit, a good habit to develop. And um, especially now with everything political going on, try to avoid stressful situations. At this point in the election, I really truly believe you're not going to change anybody's mind. People have made up their mind on how they're going to vote. And so is it really worth all the stress and anger and harsh words that can be said to try to sway somebody to your point of view? Because um, I, I know for myself, I pretty much know how I'm voting. And it's just, and, I, and I'm not going to tell you how I'm voting. It's up for me to decide. But uh, we all need to um, realize that we are entitled to our opinions and we need to make a habit of not stressing about how people are choosing to use their vote and just know that uh, you know what'll be will be you know that, that's how I'm thinking what'll be will be and is it worth getting all sick and stress eating and losing a friend and it's just it's just not worth it it's just not worth it so try to take some calming time make a habit of not inflicting your opinion on other people, um, making smart choices as far as your food and your health and your exercise, and uh, have some time to yourself during the day. I think I think that everything will work out in the end. I really do. I really believe that things happen for a reason. They really do. So, um, okay, now I'm getting preachy, and it's not even Sunday. I gotta go in the house now. My birds are happy. My habit of feeding them every second, third day. In the winter it's less because I don't have as many birds, but now they're bulking up for their winter flight, so I, I'm feeding them like almost every day. But I don't tell you that, but I do, so. Okay, go. nonsense, I'm just talking nonsense now. Okay, we're gonna have for breakfast some oatmeal. Look at no berries, because I ran out of berries. I gotta go to the store, cup of tea. That's the milk I use. That's the Thomas's bagel, and that's the uh, 
oatmeal I use. Uh, today is Thursday, September 24th. My quote is, I'll start my day with a prayer. My quote is, practice isn't the one thing you do once you're good at it. It's the things you do that make you good. It's a nine-point breakfast, zero for my egg, banana, and tea, four points for my half a cup of oatmeal, one point for my quarter cup of milk, three points for my English muffin, and one point for my laughing cow. It's nine points. Okay, we're going to eat lunch now. It's a nine-point lunch. Um, I'm eating a lot. Oh, I did that. We're nine, nine is 18. There should be five points left. Right? 18? Yeah, five points, not seven. How did I have so many points left? Anyway, um, I'm going to have a very light point dinner, so I should be fine. So it's two points for my two slices of Aunt Millie's bread, three points for my two slices of Velveeta cheese, four points for my granola bar, zero for my um, water, which is in the other room, my cucumber, my tomato, my diet cranberry juice. So it's nine points. Um, I put a tomato on my grilled cheese. That's the bread I use, that's the cheese, and that's the cranberry juice. Okay, I'm going to have a stir fry with some rice. Um, it's two points for a quarter cup of my Velveeta cheese over the top. I have a chicken breast, uh, about a quarter of an onion, a quarter of a green and red pepper, maybe a half a cup of mushrooms, and a can of tomatoes. Two points for a third of a cup of the brown rice and one point for my lemonade and cranberry juice. So I hit my points right on the nose. So these are the shreds I'm using. It's uh, two points for a quarter cup. Zero points for my tomatoes. I got these at Nutstop, the rice. I've had a taste of it already. It's delicious. Um some Simply Lemonade, and my diet cranberry juice. So let's go eat. Oh, there's my juice. Let's go eat, see how it tastes. Well, my dinner was very filling. <clears throat> you notice in a pattern with my eating lately? I'm eating three meals a day. That's so, so unusual for me. I don't know what it is, but lately I've been so hungry. I don't know why, but uh, I'm staying within my points. Hopefully my one pound loss this week is what I'm going for. But um, the only thing I would say about my chicken dinner, my stir fry, is I was a little heavy on the garlic. <laughs> uh, I usually use like the jar garlic, but I used fresh garlic this time because I had a couple cloves. And um, <clears throat> went a little overboard because my first bite I went, <gasps> it was so bad, it was so, so spicy. But then I mixed it all up again and kind of distributed the flavors a little bit better but I have to tell you guys that rice was delicious oh my gosh it was so good um, I usually just buy instant rice I've never really make it but the way I made it because it didn't come with instructions I had to look on the internet what I did was I used a cup and a half no two and a half cups of water although next time I think I might use some chicken broth but anyway I used two and a half cups of water and a little tiny little bit of salt and then I put one cup of rice in, yeah, one cup of rice, brought it to a simmer without a lid, and then I put a lid on it and I let it cook on low for 45 minutes with a lid. And I didn't take the lid off to stir it or anything, I just left it like it was. And then um, when it was done, after the 45 minutes, I took it off the stove took a fork and like fluffed it up a little bit, put the lid back on and I let it set for five minutes. It's a lot of work for the rice, but the flavor, it was worth the, it. Was worth it. it really was worth it because if, if you watch my videos, you see that I usually buy the Uncle Ben's 90 second rice. Can't even compare. No comparison at all. Uh, my favorite restaurant is Pei Wei, which is I think like a Chinese restaurant. I think it's Chinese. It might be I really don't know. It's it's Asian. It's Asian themed. I know that. But I'd have to say that rice was better than their 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 rice at there. I'd have to say. So I'm gonna leave the link down below for the ten percent off. They sell all kinds of stuff. They sell, I didn't realize until I saw Kim with uh, a girl on her phone. Um, they had chocolate too. Thank goodness I didn't see that. I did get a snack 
a trail mix that has some little pieces of dark chocolate in it. I haven't gone into that yet. I tasted it for the review, but um, I'm determined to get under 200 pounds first before I splurge on any of that. But I didn't think that the rice was a splurge, but definitely, definitely, definitely. And they sent me like a one pound bag. And I forget how much it was. I'd have to look, but uh, oh, definitely. It was definitely worth whatever I paid for it. I'm going to look it up and I'll put it right here because I don't think it was that expensive. And the I actually, in a fro, according to the website, uh, not the website, according to the uh, internet, I looked up brown rice. You can freeze it up to six months. So I made all of that. I had a third cup servings, which was more than enough for me because you saw how much chicken and peppers and stuff I had besides that. Um, I was able to put uh, four more containers of a third of a cup. So I got one after it boiled down and everything, because you know the water is going to boil down. I ended up, I got one and two thirds cup servings out of a two, a one cup uh, serving of rice. So I got a little bit more than a cup of, of rice from, from it. I highly recommend it. So uh, I'm going to watch my big brother tonight. Um, I kind of know who's going home. It's kind of boring, you know, when they have these alliances now, because there's no suspense you just know it's like you know but I still watch it because it's something to watch uh, I do think I'm done with Dancing with the Stars I'll be honest with you with that I think I'm done with that but um, no I like the Big Brother I still like it so I did think that Zingbot was a little bit mean you know it, there's a thing of being like um, roasting somebody and then there's a difference of being just downright mean and I think a couple of the comments they made were just downright mean but I still watched it, <laughs> got my humor out of it, so. Okay, I uh, don't really have any plans tomorrow. I, you won't be seeing my food tomorrow, but uh, you'll be seeing me. Hopefully I'm gonna go for a walk in the morning uh, with Denise. I'll, I'll definitely go for a walk, but she's been kind of busy the last couple mornings, and so I don't know that she's gonna have time to go walk in tomorrow morning, but we'll see. If she's there, you know, you'll be on, she'll be on my video, you know that, so. Oh, and Kylie lost another 1.2 pounds this week, so she's doing really well. Denise stayed the same, so. Okay, talk to you guys uh, tomorrow, so like this video, leave a comment, share. Like, comment, share. Subscribe! How can I forget that one? Subscribe, I heard you. I heard you yelling at me. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Stay safe.